Hey friends, welcome back to my channel for another grocery haul. I actually filmed the grocery haul the other day, but if you have watched my last couple of videos, you know when we came back from our trip that we got sick and today I finally felt really good. So I put on some makeup, I got up, and I'm doing all the things. So I am filming my intro and my outro today. Anyway, I did go to Walmart and HEB the other day and picked up what I needed. Actually, Walmart delivered to me. I ran into HEB for a couple of things because I needed some produce. And my experience with people picking produce for me is less than stellar most of the time. So I popped in and it was nice to get out of the house a little bit too, because I gotta tell you guys, when you've been cooped up for days, not feeling well, a little fresh air, getting back into the world really, really does help. However, by the time I got home, I was tired. So I did not film the intro and the outro. I completely forgot. Anyway. I got what we needed for the next week. Let's talk meal plan. Uh, we smoked ribs and pulled pork. So that is what we're eating the rest of the week. Um, the first night, of course, we ate ribs. The second night, we just ate pulled pork. I started some sides. Now going forward, I'm going to make my version of a McRib. Um, I've had it one time, so we'll see how this turns out, but I think I can do a little bit better. I've got some bread rising right now to make some homemade buns. I'm gonna fry some onion strips on top. I think it's gonna be really, really delicious, but it'll be my take on the McRib. And then we're going to have some pizza. I actually saw um, Sam the Cooking Guy make a pizza. I think it was like an older video and it just popped up on my list, but he made a roast beef pizza the other day that had a horseradish sauce on it. And that just really spoke to me because when we were on vacation, um, there was a buffet at the hotel we were at. So they had prime rib with horseradish sauce. I love horseradish. Like I could have just drank the sauce. I think it was incredible, but I, I've been craving it since then. And seeing that on the pizza, I was like, man, I've got to make that. But I'm not making roast beef and I don't have any roast beef. And I thought, well, why not throw some pulled pork on it? So here we go. We're going to have a pizza that I'm gonna throw together and create, but I think it's gonna be really good. I'm also gonna do some pulled pork mac and cheese, kind of. It's a take on the gnocchi with the gorgonzola sauce that Trader Joe's sells. I did stop there the other day while we were traveling and I got to try that. I've always wanted to try it. It sounded so good and I gotta tell you guys, it was fantastic. So I'm going to make that at home and add some pulled pork in. That's gonna be a nice filling dish for sure. I'll serve salad or veggies or something on the side to compensate for all of this stuff. but. That's about as far as I've gotten in the meal plan because I'm not entirely certain that the pork's gonna last beyond that. We'll see if it does. I will definitely throw together a few more meals to share with you guys on my next What's For Dinner video. There's my dog. <laughs> but for now, that's what I have planned. Anyway, let's jump in and take a look at these groceries. All right, friends, this is the haul. This is H-E-B down here. And then this is Walmart down here. Not a ton of stuff, but it was kind of expensive this time. Um, more than I expected it to be. Walmart was $87. Not pictured as a gallon of almond milk, some um, chocolate silk, and a bag of cat food. So that stuff is just not in here because it was already put away and I forgot to get it back out. So sorry about that. And then HEB down here was $90. So there's that. <laughs> All right, um, let's go ahead and jump right on in. Down here, I got um, deodorant. I just went ahead and got the double pack for my husband. I ordered a regular bunch of cilantro, but I guess they were out and they subbed this. It's not very much. I'm actually making a couple of things that use cilantro, so I did get some more at HEB. You'll see that in a minute. A couple of heads of garlic. I needed to roast those for some different things I'm making over the next week. I got some cat litter deodorizer. I love this stuff and I haven't been able to get it lately, so I was really happy that when I checked this time, it was in stock. I got, well, okay, so I ordered wax burner bulbs, which you saw me get like last week or the week before. So I just reordered the same thing. This is not those bulbs. This is the wrong bulb that they gave me. So I guess I'll have to contact them about that. I've actually been having a lot of trouble with the Walmart um, delivery service. I'm, every week, they've given me wrong things or missing items just every single week. So I'm really not very happy with the service right now, but hopefully they'll get these glitches worked out. I did get some liquid plumber. Um, one of the bathroom sinks is draining kind of slowly. So I got that. Hopefully that'll clear it right up. I got a big bag of kale just to have as salads over the next week with our meals. Um, I went ahead and stocked up on some toiletry items. So I got my husband's two-in-one uh, shampoo and conditioner. 
I also got the kids their body wash. They have about half a bottle left, but I keep hearing other people that do grocery hauls talk about um, those are gonna be the next shortage items like toiletry items, soaps and shampoos and stuff like that. And I thought, well, I mean, it never hurts to have some extra. So I went ahead and just got a few bottles now and I'll probably get some more next week just to be safe. And then, you know what, if they're not on shortage, we're gonna use them anyway, no big deal. So I'd rather just be safe than sorry. I did get some celery. This was the cheapest celery they had in the store and I don't need very much. So I just went ahead and picked this up. I'm just gonna make some potato salad to go with the um, the ribs or the pulled pork. I haven't decided which one I'll serve it with. Maybe both. Um, I did get 18 eggs. These are still very expensive. The price is not coming down, which is really disappointing. I got this spray bottle for the kitchen. Uh, I've been needing one in here for different things. So I went ahead and picked that up. Some gallon size zip top bags because we were almost out. Coconut milk because I am now out of that. I used my last two cans to make the um, slow cooker soup. I think you guys have already seen the video. It was fantastic. We came home from vacation, then we all got sick and that soup just hit the spot. It was so perfect. I needed some more dishwasher stuff. This is what I use, the liquid gel. I picked that up. I got some graham crackers to make a graham cracker crust for a pie. Four cans of this. I need two, I think. I might need three for stuff I'm making this week. And I just went ahead and rounded up to four just for good measure. And with baking season coming up, like I, I literally cannot have enough of that. I use it for so many different recipes. So just prepare to see that repeated for weeks on end because I don't want to run out and I don't want it to be hard to get. And I want to be ready for all the holiday baking. I love holiday baking. I love some of my traditional recipes and I love trying new ones. So I want to make sure I'm all set and ready for that. I got a bag of key limes. Guess what I'm making? <laughs> um, I got some mascarpone. Am I saying that right? Is it mascarpone? I think it's mascarpone. I'm gonna make tiramisu. Like I adore tiramisu so much. It's so delicious. Um, I just wanted to try my hand at making it myself from scratch. And then the last thing I got was Pop-Tarts for the kids. And that is it for Walmart. And then on down to H-E-B. This was more stuff and it was way more than I meant to get, but you know, like once you're in the store and you start seeing stuff, the impulse buys happen, that's what happened. Um, I did get these chips that we get pretty much every week cause we're pretty much out and I'm gonna make some homemade salsa. I don't know, today, tomorrow, something like that. Some gorgonzola cheese for um, a mac and cheese, not really mac and cheese. What am I making? Gnocchi and cheese that I'm gonna put some of the leftover pulled pork in. And I just thought gorgonzola was gonna be perfect. Kind of playing off that, um, gorgonzola gnocchi thing they sell at Trader Joe's. I finally got my hands on some because when we traveled there was a Trader Joe's. How exciting. So I got to try it and it was amazing. So I'm kind of going to play off that recipe and make something. Um, broccoli because we like broccoli and we haven't had it in a while. Here's the cilantro I got to make up for that little tiny pack that they got me. I got dill for my potato salad. Got a bunch of zucchinis in here just to serve as a side, just like some sauteed zucchini. We really like zucchini. I got a big box of Reese's Puffs. One, this was the only size they had in the store. So that's what I got. But also I had a really good coupon that I wanted to use this week and I didn't want it to expire. So I went ahead and picked those up. I got a big box of regular waffles. This is what everybody eats them, but my kids especially. Lady fingers for the tiramisu. I got this almond bark to make some different candies and stuff. I make a Christmas one and I thought I would try my hand at a Halloween one. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, these are like the thick and fluffy Eggo waffles, but they're the HEB brand. So I picked those up because that's what my husband and I prefer. Still stocking up on bacon with the holidays coming. I make a lot of things with bacon. So I've been trying to just grab some packs every week. So this one is for the freezer and this one is for us to eat. We really like the pepper bacon and I haven't bought it in a while. So I went ahead and picked it up. I did go to the deli counter today. Um, we've been enjoying sandwiches a lot lately and I like the deli meat sometimes. I know it's kind of pricey, but sometimes it's nice to treat yourself. So I got Boar's Head Bourbon Ridge Uncured Smoked Ham. This one is fantastic. I got some uh, pancetta. This is for dinner tonight. I'm making carbonara. I haven't decided if I'm gonna film it or not. We're all still kind of feeling pretty yucky. So I'm just trying to kind of get through right now, but um, if I feel up to it, I will film it and share it. If not, I will cook it again because we love um, we love carbonara. And then finally, I got some, what is this? Boar's Head Smoke Master Black Forest Ham. I haven't had this one before, but I like Black Forest Ham, so I thought it would be really good. 
Got some green onions. That is for a couple of different things. I got some limes for like salsas and stuff like that. I got some bananas. This is to make the tiramisu. It's um, a double espresso, so that's what I will soak the lady fingers in. Shrimp was on sale. These are $4.97 a bag, and it's a pound in each bag. So I went ahead and got two just to have on hand. Those will be handy. I got the candy for the um, the Halloween park that I'm going to try to make. I did get some cranberries for my husband to snack on. He loves these so much. A can of diced tomatoes. My oldest son does not like carbonara, so I will probably make like just a little quick sauce for him to have. And then finally, a big bag of poblano peppers for a sauce I'm going to be making next week. And that does it. That is all I got this week for groceries. All right, friends, that does it for today's grocery haul. I got lots of stuff. Um, Stocking up on stuff, buying some extras, the whole bit. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have not already, please go ahead and click that subscribe button and leave me a comment down below and then smash that like button. It really does help me and my channel out so much. I appreciate you guys joining me here for all of my videos and I appreciate your support so much. Hope you're all having a fantastic week and I will see you soon with a Croptober video. Bye.